Hey guys, so this vlog is going to be a vlog of my first two days in Paris. So here we are on the Eurostar, and it was a very short trip, and then we just took the metro into the city. And directly after dropping our bags off, we went on a tour of the Palace of Versailles. So here's just some of the ceiling art, and I just got a lot of clips of the art within the palace. It was so, so beautiful. I liked it better personally than all, any of the other palaces I saw, and I saw quite a few while I was in Europe. Um, so I just showed you some of my favorite parts. We spent a lot of time in the palace and I recorded some of my favorite rooms, which was this one, which was the king's room, which I thought was very beautiful, but the bed was smaller than I imagined it would be. <laughs> And this room is the most popular room in the palace because the Treaty of Versailles was signed in this room and there was even the desk where it was signed. And in this room, the king would have people watch him eat and the tour guide was telling us how he liked to have total control at all times in the palace so he did a lot of rituals like that. Um, and that's the end of those clips of the palace and directly after that we went to the Arc de Triomphe and we went to go to the very top and look at the beautiful views and there was a super pretty view of the Eiffel Tower and just the whole city of Paris so I'm showing you guys that. And after that, we just took the metro back to our Airbnb and fell asleep. And next, I will show you guys our second day in Paris. So it started off on the metro once again. How beautiful is this? It looked super, super pretty. We saw it at night and early in the morning, and I think it looked beautiful during each time of day. Good morning, France. So it is pretty early in the morning. It's about 9 a.m. We got up at about 7 a.m., and now we are going to go see the Eiffel Tower. We bought Skip the Line tickets and we also bought tickets to have like a little brunch on the first floor of the Eiffel Tower so that was pretty cool and you guys will see that. So here we are, a bunch of us getting crammed into a tiny little elevator and going up, I believe we went up to the second floor um, and we just got to look at the views and the Eiffel Tower was a lot taller, I don't know, than I thought it would be. Like we were in that elevator for quite some time even go just going to the second floor and especially going to the top level. So once we got to the second floor, our tour guide was just telling us some fun facts about the Eiffel Tower, like how it used to be red, and just a bunch of different little things about it and the history, and then we got to enjoy the view and take photos, and this is not even the top level, this is only the second floor, but you guys will also see the summit in just a minute. So here we are going to the summit of the Eiffel Tower, and like I said, it was super, super high, so it was actually kind of scary to look down. And then here are some views from the summit of the Eiffel Tower. You could literally see all of Paris and it was so beautiful. And my boyfriend and I were taking so many pictures up there. I will be posting them to Instagram shortly since I just got home actually.
Alright guys, now we're gonna go to the champagne area. So after that we just climbed a bunch of stairs to go down to the first floor level where we had a presentation and just some light refreshments and snacks. And you need to give me answers, alright? You need to think very well the answers because if you make a mistake... Very And directly after that, we went out to the Champ de Mars Park directly in front of the Eiffel Tower and just took a bunch, a bunch of pictures. All right, guys, so right now we're on the lawn in front of the Eiffel Tower. We've taken a million and one photos. There it is. And next we're going to go to, well, originally we were planning on eating lunch here, but we didn't find any like baguettes readily available, so we're going to go to some gardens next. So we realized we were running out of time and we booked a session to go to the Holy Chapel directly after that. So we actually had to head straight there, so we took the metro once again because it's the easiest way to get around in Paris. And we took it to um, around the area and just stopped to get some food. We stopped to get food at the shawarma place, which definitely isn't Parisian, but it was quick and fast, so we didn't mind. And then we headed straight to the chapel, and I have to say, this was one of my favorite things that I've seen in all of Europe, and definitely one of my favorite things in all of Paris. It was so beautiful in there, and I hope you guys don't mind. I did um, get some footage in there, and I probably won't do a voiceover for that, but you guys will just see it. It's not super long, but I just thought you guys would appreciate seeing how beautiful it is on the inside, because I was literally in awe. I thought the first floor was pretty, but wait until you guys see the second floor. I just think it was super cool how this stuff is so old but so well preserved and just so gorgeous and detailed. So after that the last thing on our agenda was to go to the crypt which was super super exciting for me because I really like a lot of that like morbid stuff which is kind of weird but um, we walked over by the river we checked that out and then we took another metro yet again because it's just so easy to take here and we took it to the area where the crypt is and unfortunately we got there a little bit early we got there about an hour early so we just had to hang out um, on the side of the line because we got skip the line passes for that as well so we actually didn't have to get in the line but we still had to wait in general and I was just enjoying the Schweppes and sitting there and we were hanging out with some birds. <laughs> this little girl next to us was feeding all the birds and she had them all around her and I thought it was so cute so I took a little video of it. So if you guys don't like creepy things, you might wanna end this video now because I'm about to show you some clips from the catacombs. And so once we got there, we just took some stairs to the ground level and then we were walking into the catacombs and there was some history because we got the audio tour so we were listening to that on our way and we walked for about I would say like five minutes before we started seeing like the skulls and stuff and sorry the lighting's not great it wasn't lit super well down there so there were tons of skulls and bones down there and yes they are real they are from actual people and apparently according to the audio tour it's because all the cemeteries of Paris were getting overfilled and so they had to move all the bodies down there and it wasn't until later that they were actually organized the way they are now before it was kind of just like jumbled up everywhere but now it's in like these really cool patterns and it's kind of artsy and creepy at the same time.
So to end our day, we went and relaxed at the Luxembourg Gardens, and I have to say they were absolutely beautiful, and I'm so jealous that we don't have any parks like this in the States, at least any that I know of. Um, this place was just incredibly beautiful, and we definitely took the time to just sit there and relax and eat a light little snack there. And they even have these chairs there that kind of like recline. They're not just like regular chairs, so it's really nice to lay down and just enjoy the weather and everyone's company and everyone there was just like reading or drinking wine and it was such a peaceful experience and another really cool thing that we noticed is that um, if anyone knows the band Tame Impala uh, their album cover Lonerism is actually right here at this park so we tried to recreate it as you guys will see in the next clip just google Tame Impala Lonerism and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about <laughs> So after that, we got back to our Airbnb and I was just looking over the photos from the day. Now we are heading to dinner. We had a really nice, very authentic Parisian dinner. Basically, we couldn't even read the menu, but our waitress definitely helped us out and helped us pick some stuff that was really delicious. And my favorite was this mango cheesecake. And that was the end of my day. We were in Paris for about five days, but I only filmed the first two because I wanted to relax for the rest of my vacation. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys very shortly in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye